Today we have a cook with me recipe on Weight Watchers meatloaf. I found this recipe online. I'm going to try to find it again and I will link the recipe down below. The only thing I switched up was I did not have the mushrooms that they called for so I used orange peppers instead. It was really good. We love orange peppers or red peppers in meatloaf. We've always used that so we decided to switch that up. So if you guys are interested in seeing a recipe with Weight Watchers meatloaf keep watching. And it is only one smart point per serving and the serving sizes are big. Let's get started on this. Nothing ever felt as good or as easy as All right guys, this is the cast of my party today. I'm doing a cook with me on a Weight Watchers meatloaf. I am supplementing orange pepper diced orange pepper for mushrooms. So that's the only change that I'm making to this recipe from what I found online. I'm not sure of the website I found it on, but I found this online and it just, um, it called for mushrooms instead of peppers, but we're gonna go with peppers because I didn't have mushrooms. So salt and pepper, one cup of diced onion, one cup of diced peppers, or one cup of diced mushrooms, whichever you wanna go with, some Worcestershire sauce, and I can't say that, I know, a pound of ground turkey, a cup of diced carrots, or you can get the um, minced stuff here. So one cup of that. Garlic, one teaspoon. And I think there's a teaspoon of the thyme leaf. Now don't get the ground thyme, but get the, the thyme leaf instead. One egg, one half cup of the Quaker oats, the old fashioned, not the quick, because the quick gets too mushy. And then this is what we're gonna have on the side. So that doesn't go in your meatloaf at all. And that is it. Yeah, that's it. So that is the cast of the party. I will bring you along and show you how to make this. I did forget one thing and that is the celery stock. So dice up one celery stock as well. Wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now. I wanna push all the limits with you right now. So watch your feelings, the city screaming when I'm coming home tonight. We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now. People talk and tell what you wanna hear now. But they all disappear, they will let you down. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is chop up your vegetables, which I already did here. The onions and carrots were easy because I already had the onions done and I had half of the peppers done. So one cup of carrots, one cup of peppers, one cup of onions, one stalk of celery. The next thing you are going to do is spray a little bit of Pam, or I use the nonstick vegetable oil. Spray a little bit in the bottom of your pan and all of those vegetables you cut up, dump them in here. We probably could have used a larger pan. But we just need to soften up the onions a little bit here. Yeah, probably use a little bit larger pan, but this is gonna work. It's gonna cook for 30 minutes, so these are gonna get soft either way. And then the next step is to spray your meatloaf pan or bread pan, whichever you call it. Today, it's a meatloaf pan. Just spray a little bit of oil in there. And then, and we're gonna put the ground beef into here. And this is 99% lean, so that is zero smart points. This whole recipe, guys, is five smart points for the entire pan. The entire pan. Yeah, it's really crazy. Hopefully it's, I'm hoping it's really good. So we're gonna dump that in there. Let me throw this out quick. And I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Put your back on the tripod, that will definitely help. We're going to add one egg in here. We're going to add three teaspoons of the low sugar or no sugar added ketchup, which is one point. This is where the fifth point is coming in. Three tablespoons. I'm just going to eyeball it here so I'm not going to be too exact. Plus you need a tablespoon for over the top when it's done or for dipping in, whichever you prefer. 
And then we're gonna add a tablespoon of the Worcestershire Sire sauce. One teaspoon of your minced garlic. That's about a teaspoon there. Some salt and pepper. They say a teaspoon. I'm sorry, half a teaspoon each. A teaspoon of the thyme leaf. And again, I'm just going to eyeball that. That's probably a little too much there. That's about a teaspoon. So we're going to go with that. And now we're going to mix this up. Yeah, you guys know I'm a sloppy cook. Things go flying when I'm cooking. Now we're gonna add a half a cup of the old fashioned Quaker oats. Make sure it's not the instant. And I got my quarter cup here, so we're gonna use two of those. So that's a half a cup. And these, for a half a cup, these are four smart points. That's where the other four are coming in. So a total of five smart points total in this whole dish, which is really awesome. In cooking with meatloaf, I've always cooked with the oatmeal in my meatloaf and it's really good. Instead of using breadcrumbs or anything like that, these are a lot healthier for you. My oven has just preheated. Let's take a look at our vegetables. So those are looking pretty good. I'm gonna give these a quick salt and pepper, just a little bit of salt and pepper in here. And we're gonna let these fry up for about five more minutes, so about 10 total. While my vegetables are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my broccoli for our side dish. Go outside, the snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me. I'm gonna spray this with a little bit of oil, put that on there, and just give this a little spray. And then I'm gonna salt and pepper this. And this is good just like this, but we like to add Fox Point to our vegetables that I bake in the oven. It just gives it a really good flavor, and that's what the inside of it looks like. It's zero points, and it's just got um, salt, shallots, chives, garlic, onion, and green peppercorn. That's all that's in there for the ingredients. And I just dump a little bit on there because we already got some salt on there. So you don't need a whole lot. And there you go. That's ready to go in the oven. Okay, these are ready to go. They're not soft by any means, but they're good enough. A lot of the onions are pretty clear. So we're going to go ahead and call this good. I usually don't even prep it like this at all. I just dump it all in the meatloaf and it always gets done. So we're going to dump that all in my meatloaf here. Hopefully you guys can see that. You can kind of see it, but I'll move you over. And then we're just gonna give this a quick stir up. With a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the quick. And we're gonna dump it in our pan. Now you can just as easily use ground beef for this, which is what the original recipe called for, but we had turkey, so that's what we're gonna use. Next time I might try it with our low-fat low ground beef and see how that works out. Okay, so that is what it looks like. We're gonna stick this in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. 
I'm going to set the timer for 10 because I'm going to add my vegetables at 20 minutes remaining because the broccoli will take 20 minutes to cook. I'll bring you back when we got this all done. Okay guys, this is the finished product. We have the meatloaf, that's one serving, one smart point. That's it. This is three smart points. This is zero. So we have four smart points for dinner tonight. Can't go wrong there. There is what the serving sizes look like. I just put four servings in here and this is like a regular size bread pan, bread loaf, and then the broccoli on the side. I hope you guys loved that recipe. We really enjoyed it. It was not like meatloaf. So if, you're, if you've got it in your mind that this is going to taste like meatloaf, it does not taste like meatloaf. But it's a really, it's got an odd taste all to itself. It's so good. And I think the thyme flavoring or the thyme herb in there really mixed this meatloaf up quite a bit. But it goes really well in there. And the carrots too. The thyme and the carrots give it just a taste of its own. I can't even explain it, but it was really good. The ketchup on there was really good. And having the cottage cheese on the side was awesome with this meatloaf. We took a little scoop of meatloaf and a little scoop of cottage cheese. It was delicious. It was so good. So I will definitely be putting this on my rotation for dinners and we will be having this again. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to share this video if you think anybody may like the cook with me. Thanks guys, bye. Nothing ever felt as good or as easy.